Today, I'll show you how to do your ProBit crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly. Welcome back to another wallet integration video. Today, we're talking specifically about ProBit and how to do your crypto taxes, obviously with the help of Coinly. So I'll tell you a little bit about this exchange to start off with, and then I'll jump into the very simple integration. You have two different options today. You can use the API or the CSV file route, whichever you, you like. And then I'll show you how to get the necessary tax documentation. And then lastly, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, I'll leave a bunch of different resources so you can get some help. But without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So ProBit was founded in 2017 and it's based out of Seoul, South Korea. Currently it is a top 50 exchange by trading volume, but they don't have a massive feature set like you'd expect maybe some other wallets or some other exchanges in this um, range when it comes to trading volume. They do have some interesting features on IEOs, however, and some exclusive token offers at massive discounts. So let me know if you're using or buying any of those. Okay, that's enough about them. Let's jump into the actual integration part of the video. So first step, as always, log into your Coinlight account, head over to the wallet section, and click on add wallet and then we're gonna type in probit and here we're gonna click on probit exchange and as you can see we have the setup auto sync and the import from file but i'll start off with the auto sync so click on that and here we'll need the api key and the api secrets just keep in mind that distributions are not uh, returned by the api so if you have if you have any of those um, you can import those via CSV files. So we are currently on their website in the top right corner. We're going to click on my page. And then from there, we're going to click on API management. So as you can see, I already had a key created, but I will create a new one from the beginning. So here we're going to type in a label. We can call it Coinly. Click on create new key. And now make sure to verify with the two-factor authentication. So once it's verified, you have all your information here. Here is the client secret key. So make sure to copy and paste that into Coinly. And then here is the client ID, AKA the, um, that's the API key. So click that and then click secure import. And there you have it. So that's one route you can take. Another route you can go is the CSV file route. So go back into add wallets, type in probit, and this time click on import from file. And now let me show you where to find the CSV files. So we're here again on the homepage. We're gonna head into wallet and then click on transaction history. And here is a button that says download CSV file. So first of all, make sure that all coins is selected. Make sure that all is selected under deposit slash withdrawal. And then make sure the date is set accordingly. So your entire transaction history. So if you've had you know this uh, platform for multiple years, make sure to have a CSV or a series of CSVs that includes your entire transaction history from the first day you got this account till whatever today's date is. So anyways, we're gonna do, I'm just gonna put a, a random date. Let's just put, I don't know, all of July. And then I'm gonna click download CSV. And then we're gonna click continue. So only completed transactions will appear when downloading the transaction history. This process can take from a few seconds to several minutes, depending on your trading volume. Please do not close the screen on your download or your download will be canceled. So obviously keep that in mind. And once you have that file, take it, drag and drop it into Coinly, click import, and there you have it. It's as simple as that. Once that data is imported into Coinly, you can head over into the transaction area and kind of look underneath the hood, and see what's going on here, make sure everything is sitting correctly with you, making sure all your staking transactions are tagged accordingly and stuff like that. And once you're happy with that, head over into the tax reports area. And here you'll get a fantastic summary of all your crypto activity throughout the year, your capital gains, your income, your costs and expenses, deposits, withdrawals. Um, and once you're happy with that, scroll on down and select a tax report appropriate for your needs. And as you can see on the screen before you, we have plenty of different tax reports. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also export to TurboTax both online and desktop versions. We have reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, uh, Switzerland, Australia, and then Canada, Germany, and other countries. We have the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you can give directly to an accountant and then combine it with other tax documentation to submit. Or alternatively, you can invite them to Coinly to set up their accountancy firm here with us. And then lastly, obviously check your country's rules and regulations because this time but that brings us to the end of this video if you need further assistance there's going to be a bunch of links down below starting off with the coinly help center with countless crypto tax related articles we have a forum section where you talk to members of our community as well as our staff we have a feedback section if you're having any issues with our software and then lastly if all else fails you can send us a message directly and we'd love to help you out but if you found this video helpful in any way consider dropping a like subscribing for more crypto content and i'll see you next time peace